Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about joins in SQL. Well, join is basically used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them. So joins can be really useful for combining information from uh, different tables into a single result, which we can then use uh, to, you know, obviously find out uh, specific information that's stored in our database. So in order to teach joins, I'm actually going to have us do one thing. We're going to insert another branch into the branch table. So over here, I just have the code to do that. I'm inserting into branch the values. So the branch is going to have an ID of four. The branch is going to be called Buffalo and it's not going to have a manager ID and it's not going to have a manager start date. So down here in this table that we've been using so far, we have branches one, two, and three corporate Scranton and Stanford. Now we're adding a Buffalo branch, but the Buffalo branch doesn't have a manager ID and it doesn't have a manager start date. Both of those are null. So I went ahead and inserted this into my database and you'll see down here, uh, this is now our branch database. So we have one, two, three, four, all of these uh, pieces of information. And then the manager ID for Buffalo is null and the manager start date is also null. So that's actually gonna come in handy uh, for what I'm gonna be showing you guys with these joins. So if you wanna follow along, go ahead and do that. But if you're not gonna be following along, then just know that Buffalo doesn't have a manager ID or a manager start date. So now that we've inserted that into the database, let's get started. So I wanna kind of show you guys um, what a join is before I actually talk to you about uh, what it does. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys an example. I'm just gonna paste in here. And then we'll talk about the example and you'll be able to see exactly what the join is doing. So over here I have this, it says find all branches and the names of their managers. So, so we want to find all the branches in the database and for each of those branches, we want to find the name of the manager. So down here, you'll notice that I have this branch table and the branch has this uh, column here, manager ID, right? And inside the manager ID, we have IDs of different employees. So these IDs relate to uh, employee IDs, which are stored up here. Now I want you guys to notice that the employee ID column and the manager ID column that we have down here are similar, right? They're both storing employee IDs. And so this is basically a column that is shared between the employee table and the branch table, right? Both of those tables have a column which stores employee IDs. And anytime you have a situation like that, uh, you can use something called a join. And like I said, a join is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on the related column. So in our case, the related column is the IDs of the employees. So over here, in order to find all the branches and the names of their managers, we can use a join. So here I'm saying select, and I'm selecting employee.employee .employee ID, employee.first name, and branch.branch .branch name. Now, up to this point in the course, we've never used um, multiple tables columns up here in the select statement, right? So normally we would just say like employee.employee .employee ID, employee.first name. We wouldn't use or we wouldn't specify anything from the branch table. But because we're joining the tables, um, we can actually specify that we want to grab a column from the branch table as well. So just keep that in mind. So when we get this table back, we're going to be getting the employee ID, the employee's first name, and the branch's name. So that'll basically give us the branch and the name of the branch manager. And I want to grab that information from employee, and then I'm going to say join branch. And so when I say join branch, what this is going to do is it's going to join the employee table and the branch table together. So it's going to join them together into one table and it's going to join them together on a specific column. Now, this is the column that both of these are going to have in common. So I'm going to say join branch on and then over here, I can basically just say employee.employee .employee ID is equal to branch dot manager ID. So basically I want to combine these two tables um, or I want to combine all of the rows from the employee table and all the rows from the branch table uh, as long as the manager ID of the branch row is equal to the employee ID of the employee row. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and you guys will see what happens and this should kind of uh, clear up exactly what's happening. So down here we get 
three columns, we get employee ID, first name, and branch name. And remember, we specified that up here. I said employee, I want the ID, the first name, and then I want the name of the branch. So down here, we're getting the employee ID, so it's 100. We're getting the first name, which is David, and we're getting the branch name corporate. So this tells me that the manager of the corporate branch is named David, the manager of the Scranton branch is named Michael, and the manager of the Stanford branch is named Josh. And if you look over there in our database table, that's exactly right. And so essentially we combined a row from the branch table, right, this branch name, with rows from the employee table, employee ID and first name, into one single table, right? But we only combined them when the employee ID was equal to the branch's manager ID, right? We have a bunch of employees over here, all right? Michael, Angela, Kelly, Stanley, Josh, Andy, Jim. But not all of these employees have a, their ID down here in the manager ID column. So only employees whose IDs match the value here in this manager ID column were joined together into this combined table that we got down here. So that is basically what a join is. We can take rows from one table, combine them with rows from another table, and it gives us information. So this is pretty useful information, right? We got the name of the manager for a specific branch, even though that information was stored uh, in different tables. So this is kind of the most basic version of a join. And this is like the, just the normal join. You can see I'm just using this normal join keyword up here, but there's actually a couple other uh, types of joins. So there's actually four basic types of joins that we can use. The first is just this uh, general join, and this is what's referred to as an inner join. And the inner join is gonna combine rows from the employee table and the branch table whenever the, they have the uh, shared column in common. So whenever the employee ID is equal to the manager ID, then that, is going to get included in the table that gets returned back to us. But there's a couple other types of joins and I wanna show you guys um, what they do. So there's another one which is called a left join and you can just say left join uh, just like that. And so now instead of doing a normal join, we're gonna do what's called a left join. And I wanna show you guys uh, what happens when I run this. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and run this and you'll see over here that instead of just getting David, Michael and Josh, we also got all of the other employees from the employee table. So we got Jan, Angela, Kelly, Stanley, Andy, and Jim. All of the employees got included in the results, right? Not just the employees who were branch managers. So when we just use an inner join, only the employees who were branch managers got included. But when we used the left join, all of the employees got included. And here's the reason why. With a left join, we include all of the rows from the left table. So in our case, the left table is the table over here, right? It's the employee table. And the left table is basically the one that is included in the from statement. So whenever we use this left join, that means all of the rows in the employee table are gonna get included in the results, but only the rows in the branch table that matched are gonna get included because the branch table is like the right table. There's another type of join we can use which is called a right join. And so I can just say right. Now this is gonna do the opposite. So instead of including all of the rows from the employee table, no matter what, now it's gonna include all of the rows from the branch table, no matter what. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. And down here you'll see we have all of the rows from the branch table. So not only did we get the rows which had managers, but we also got the rows which didn't. So down here, the member, the Buffalo branch, which we just added, didn't have a manager. So it, it didn't actually get linked to an employee. So therefore both of these things were null. So in the left join, we got all of the employees. In the right join, we got all of the branches. In other words, in the left join, we got all of the rows from the left table. In the right join, we got all the rows from the right table. And so in certain circumstances, you're gonna wanna do uh, either one of those. So those are the three basic types of joins that we can use in MySQL. There's actually a fourth type of join that I wanna to talk to you guys about. Um, unfortunately, we can't do it in MySQL, but it's called a full outer join. And basically in a full outer join, um, it's, com it's basically a left join and a right join combined. So remember in the left join, we grabbed all the employees and the right join, we grabbed all the branches. In a full outer join, you would grab all of the employees and all of the branches uh, 
no matter if they met this condition or not. So like I said, uh, there's not like, we can't just come over here and say like uh, full join in MySQL. Uh, we're not gonna be able to do that. But I just wanted to let you guys know about it so that you kind of have context for it. So these joins are, are really simple and they're really easy and they can be really useful if you wanna combine information. So something as simple as getting the names of all the branch managers and what branches they manage uh, is really, really easy if we just use joins. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.